Hello, my name is Girol Karajoğlu. I'm the Chief Economist of the New Zealand Treasury. What I want to do today is to talk about the New Zealand Treasury's Living Standards Framework. Over the last few years, in thinking about economic and social policy, we have been arguing that, in fact, a good policy is not only about generating more economic growth, more income and more employment, but it also is policy that affects other dimensions of what we mean by living standards. As you can see, it has five dimensions. It has economic growth, it has sustainability, it has uh, equity, it has social cohesion, social infrastructure, and it talks about managing risks. And in the middle of the cobweb diagram, you also see four capital stocks that are used to generate all the goods that we enjoy. It is very tempting to think of these dimensions as trade-offs. Although trade-offs are often inevitable, we encourage people to think about these dimensions as mutually complementary. So we want to think about policies that expand the whole living standards cobweb. Good policies do that. A very, very good example is education policy that's targeted to the most disadvantaged kids in our communities. If we can find a way of getting those kids into good schools and then into employment, what happens is they are productive, so economic growth is positive. It's equitable because they are contributing to the economic pie and benefiting from it. It's good for sustainability because we are teaching them how to fish rather than giving them the fish. It's good for social cohesion because we would love to live in a society where everybody has these opportunities and it's also good risk management. So we encourage people to think of individual or packages of policies that will expand these cobwebs. So in doing your essays, in thinking about how to frame your policies, we encourage you to think in a multidimensional way.